My name is Matthew Chung and I'm one of the structural and interventional cardiologists here at Virginia Cardiovascular Specialists. And in this video today, I'd like to discuss transcatheter aortic valve replacement to treat severe aortic stenosis. For patients that have um, aortic stenosis, which is a narrowing of the main valve that regulates the blood flow out of the heart. The mainstay of treatment for decades has been surgical aortic valve replacement. This is a pretty invasive procedure. It involves making an incision on the chest, opening the chest, and then a surgeon cuts out the old valve and puts in a new valve in its place. It's a great therapy and patients um, still receive this and do very well with it, but for patients that are a little bit older, um, a little bit more frail, it can take them a long time, months, to get back to normal and recover from the surgery. So transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVR, is a great new technology that allows us to do the same procedure, but in a much less invasive way. This is done typically by delivering the valve through a artery, often in the groin or in the shoulder or even in the neck. We go up through the valve that they were born with and then expand or inflate that valve to replace their old valve. Typical open heart surgery is done under general anesthesia where an anesthesiologist will put you to sleep. You go to sleep for the procedure and then you wake up afterwards. But with TAVR, it's such a minimally invasive procedure, they can actually do something called conscious sedation where we just give a pain medication and a sedative that kind of make the patient feel relaxed. And sometimes they may drift off to sleep, but it doesn't require being on a breathing machine to support them throughout the procedure. This is really great because patients will recover much faster after the procedure when they only receive conscious sedation. The whole procedure itself typically takes about 45 minutes to an hour and a half. Patients will be monitored typically in an ICU setting immediately after the procedure and then stay in the hospital for another two days before being discharged to home. From a patient standpoint, uh, one of the big benefits is that the recovery time is much faster. Oftentimes they're up on their feet the very next day. They can leave the hospital in two to three days and they get back to doing the things that they enjoy much quicker. 